Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Sam and Max Hit The Road, where we are once again visiting our buddy Shovel to try and figure out what we need to do with these totem poles. Um, it looks like I've got the right sort of idea. Frost Game has been in touch and said that I'm sort of right with the totem poles, but that they potentially also refer to items as well as locations, so that's something I'm going to have to bear in mind a little bit. So. Uh, I'm sure there could be one here, to be quite honest with you, although I don't know what it is. Um, there was something to do with like a whirlwind, wasn't there? Was it, a, was it like a whirlwind? I can't even remember why I came a player piano. But also I've been told by Thirteen Kitchen that there might have been something more at that totem pole area which I didn't properly look into. Can we go into any of these? No, we're just going to magically turn tiny. Okay. It's the seamy underbelly of water. This is a completely unusable thing of a bob. No, okay. Uh, can we go through this door by any chance? I mean, the fact that I'm, sh I'm sure it had a tornado or something on the totem pole, so this is literally it's the only door. place that I, I can think of. That. I can't reach the doorknob. Okay, so maybe we can go in there by messing around with the magnets. Um, okay. Can we do anything in here? It's a mystery vortex booth. Yeah, unless it's something to do with that. Can we try the vortex? Step right in. Thank you. <laughs> right, so there is a sort of... This is the vortexy thing, isn't it? I'm already using the Vortex. So I wonder if there's... Hmm. Neat! It didn't do anything though, did it? Huh. Can we... Looks like all the blood went to her head years ago. Can we use this little thing here? No, it doesn't look like it. Um... Can't do anything to that, can we? No. Hmm. Let's try talking to the lady again. Do you know why you're upside down? No, but hum a few bars and I'll fake it. <laughs> Kill her now, Sam. <laughs> oh my god. I don't... Anything else you can tell us about the snow globes Could you it be used something to, to sell? Do with this? Only that their continued existence threatens my livelihood. I wonder if it's... We'll be back. Back. It's all the same to I'm, me. I'm getting the feeling it is something to do with this, but because it's got like the little vortexy thing, hurricane looking thing in it. So I think what we'll do, we'll go back to um, the area with the totem poles at the Savage Jungle Inn. We'll see if there was an area that we could get to that we didn't check out. And then hopefully, if there is, then there's something which will put us on the right track here because I get the feeling it's definitely to do with that. I mean, we could still interact with things a little bit, couldn't we? So, I mean, potentially... This is a completely unusable thingamabob. Maybe we can use an item while we're in there or something. Let's head through. I, mean, I feel like we're on the right track anyway. Also, I've been told that we're pretty much near the end of the game now, so hang on. So that, oh, maybe it isn't a hurricane-y thing. What did he say it was? It's like a hand or what something. What is this, some kind of tornado? Yeah, so it is some sort of tornado then. Hmm. What's that, toasting marshmallows? A patron saint of Bigfoot's? Looks like a before and after shot. Okay. So... Apparently we could have gone this way, maybe? Although, I don't know, I'm, I'm sort of trying to go that way and... Oh yeah, we can! Wow, that one was quite difficult to see, actually. So, can we... Here's the hot tub that Max wanted to use. The pool of decadence. Bring me as many naked women as my poor eyes can stand. <laughs> Jesus, Max, you don't even like girls. 
Oh yeah, I forgot. <laughs> oh, I forgot. Brilliant. Right, let's get in here. Maybe we? after this case is over. Ah, oh, sorry, Max. It's not going to happen, mate. Right, let's talk to this guy Can you spare then. Spare a second. Not really. But since you're saving my species from extinction, what the heck? Okay, so we can ask him about the totem poles. What happens when we've satisfied the requirements laid forth by the totem poles? Strict requirements. The world will be harmonious again. Overly strict requirements. <laughs> you know, I'm really anxious about this whole totem pole thing. It'll work. Trust me. Well, I hope so. I met Anxious once. He's the one with the drool in his beard. <laughs> That wasn't anxious. It was your cotton candy. Oh my god. Well, that certainly clears up one mystery. <laughs> I'm still having nightmares about alligators. I know that everyone involved with this extraordinary quest has had their demons to contend with. But let me make one thing perfectly clear. It'll be worth it. I hope Back. so. He said quest. I think my furry little body may break out in a rash of unsightly hives. I think that's a reference to Sierra and their quest games. That's quite funny. What do you make of the first totem pole? As you know, this is a problem that I've been working on for many years. Research strongly suggests this totem pole to be representative of the whirlwind nature of us Bigfoots. Wild and always moving. Right, so it's got to be something to do with that, miss, that little vortex machine thing then. What's your take on the second totem pole? I'm glad you asked. You see, I believe that it represents the sharp edge of ancient history. The fantastic staying power of the Yeti people over the millennia. Okay. How does the third pole figure into the scheme of things? Let me be very clear. That pole constitutes the harmony from the coexistence of two similar beings. A harmony that springs from mutual respect and understanding. Hmm, I'm not sure about that one. What does the fourth totem pole represent? I'm asked that very question all the time. My answer, rapid growth. That's got to be something to do with that vegetable place, I think. What can you tell us about Bruno? Is it me, or does it feel as if we've asked just about everybody in the country about Bruno? <laughs> yep. Ah, oh, Bruno. Full of them and vigor, ready to take on the world. It reminds me of when I was his age. What do you think about Trixie? She's such a sweet girl and very representative of the open-mindedness of our Yeti leadership. We're very proud of that. What's your official stance on Conroy Bumpus? Conroy Bumpus is a threat to the American way of life. It has been and continues to be of highest importance that we rid ourselves of this most negative influence on the young people of our brave new world. The missus and I sure like his music. <laughs> Fair enough. Right, so... Back. I'll be here. I mean, that's sort of like we've got some clues, but I honestly don't. I mean, what was this it's thing? It's a pillow with hair tonic all over it. Hair tonic. Hmm. Okay, what was this again? Chateau Sasquatch '92. A very bad year. Oh yeah, that was it. That was we got that from the table, didn't we? And we've got this. It's rope. 91 yards of twine. Oh, twine, sorry. Yeah. What was this? It's a guide to the operation of macro hard maintenance droids. Oh yeah. And we've got our ice, it's an pit. ice pick. Uh, okay. So, I mean, it doesn't really help us out too much, I don't think. Hang on. Let me just check. There's nothing this way. Anything over here? Doesn't look like it. No. I like the music in this little area, by the way. It's pretty cool. Uh, where are we going? <laughs> so we just be wandering around in circles. There we go. Okay, uh, let's go back out then. So, it's got to be something to do... Sorry, just bash the mic there. It's got to be something to do with the Vortex machine, hasn't it? But I can't... I just can't figure out what it is. Um... It's really awkward to like leave this area, <laughs> I've noticed. I, I, I guess it's because this is like the, the main point of it. Um, so the second one then, I'm guessing the second one is that dinosaur place, it's got to be. And he said something about sharp, so I'm wondering if that's something to do with like dinosaur teeth. Given that we also saw... Given that... Sorry, I'm just trying to get out of here. Given that we also saw on the totem pole, it looked like there was some sort of dentistry going on. 
I'm guessing we've maybe got to do something with dinosaur teeth. So perhaps we'll try here first and um, give it a go. So the dinosaurs are over here. And there's also that one there. But it looked more like this type of dinosaur, I think. So let's have a look at this again. I wonder how he flossed with those itty bitty hands. <laughs> Uh, can we use this? This is a completely unusable thingamabob. This is a completely unusable thingamabob. Okay. Uh, we can use this, can't Hi, we? Hi, my name is Rex, the Thunder Lizard. During the Lake Giraffe... Can we do I anything? Would... This is a completely unusable thingamabob. Okay, can we... Can we, like, chuck something in there? I can't use these things together. No. Uh, okay, can we send Max in? Max is usually up for some weird stuff like this. I can't this. use these things together. No, we cannot use Max on it. Uh, can we use this thing, maybe? Or maybe I we... can't use these things together. Hang on, maybe we can attach the magnet back to this. I better take the cup off first. Yeah, you do that. And then maybe we can use this to, like, magnetize the teeth? I can't use these things together. No. <laughs> we cannot. Um... Can we use the ice pick thing? I can't use these things together. No. Can the ice pick go in the under here? I can't use these things. No. Can we use the twine? We can use the twine. All right. Okay. Ah. So do we have to pull this? I haven't got enough leverage from here to pull out a tooth. Right. So how do we get leverage? Hmm, how do we get... I can't use these things together. How do we get leverage? Apparently we can use Max. There we go. <laughs> the game pretty much gave us that. Oh my god. <laughs> oh jeez. I mean the game pretty much gave us the solution there. I clicked it and it just came out of Max. Yay! Alright. We finally got the tooth. The whole tooth? <laughs> Nothing bad. <laughs> right, now the question is, what do we do with the tooth? It's a somewhat authentic dinosaur tooth. Right, so that's the second one down. Um, God, I don't know what the third one is, but I think the fourth one has something to do with these vegetables. So let's come here. We'll see if there's anything we can do in this place. Uh, can you perhaps do anything for us? So, how did you get started in this line of work? Oh, I'm a natural. My mother's an artist, my father's a farmer, and my great-grandfather was a village idiot. It's in my blood. Of course. I see. Um, well, I'm wondering I... if it's something to do with this. Your likeness from picture. How do we do a likeness? This is a completely unusable thingamabob. Do we have a picture? Uh, I don't think we do. I mean, unless it's a Max thing again. I don't think she'd want that. No, so maybe we need a picture. But what would the picture be of? Can we use this thing? I don't think she'd want that. No, okay. So, hmm. Indiana Jones and the Temple of Shrooms. Lovely. It's a whole heap of eggplants shaped like Conroy Bumpus' head. What was this thing again? I wonder what's holding those mop tops up. I don't know. Can, is there anywhere else we can go to here? Or is this literally it? Maybe there's another area? I, I don't know. well-tended garden of mutant vegetables is like a melody. No, I didn't want to do that. Can we... No. Uh, hmm. What's this thing? That avocado is Governor Connolly. <laughs> um, hmm. Celebrity Vegetable Museum. I don't know, guys. I don't know. I feel like there's something... What did it say? Something about growing something, didn't it? But the question is, what are we supposed to grow? 
I'm, I'm guessing it's something to do with this. But honestly, Indiana I don't know. Indiana Jones and the Temple of Shroom. <laughs> making me laugh quite a lot, that bit. Um, we don't have like any seeds or anything, do we, that we can grow? Wait, what's These this? These are pamphlets for the Mount Rushmore Dinosaur Tar Pit and Bungee Jumping National Park, and some place called the Celebrity Vegetable Museum. No, we can't use those. Um, Chateau Sasquatch 92. A very bad year. Hmm. I'm, I'm a little bit stuck. I'll be honest. I'm a little bit stuck. Um, I'm really... I mean, where else are we going to grow something? That was what it said, wasn't it? Unless it's like here. It still doesn't look much like a frog. No. Can we use that? No. Okay. So it's nothing to do with that. Um, hmm. I mean, I don't think it's going to be anything to do with Bumpersville. I can't talk to that. I didn't mean to click that. Um, right. Hmm. And then we've got the mystery vortex again. Okay, guys. Well, we made progress on one of them. Um, I've got an idea of two of them. The third one, I, I literally have no idea what we've got to do there. But we've, we've got one of the four done. So we're going to have to leave it there for this one. So as always, thank you very much for watching. A big thank you to our patrons, Arcades Games, Wayne, Nate, and Terminally Nerdy for all the support. I really do appreciate it. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like button. It really helps YouTube push this video out to more people who'd like to watch it. And join our little point-and-click community that we're building here. And I'll see you all next time.